Welcome everybody to our next episode. This time we are covering how we built our custom shower stall. From doing a custom shower pan out of fiberglass and epoxy to our vinyl sheeted plywood walls. We also did a little bit of work on our butcher block so you'll see some of that as well. We're very excited to share this with you. There's going to be a ton of information so we hope you stick around for the whole thing and we hope you learn something. So enjoy this episode. Oh. What do I say? Nothing. Good. <laughs> Welcome back to Road to Pitches. Our names are Suchiko and Moritz, and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into our dream camper van. Gonna make our self made shower pan here. It's gonna be custom built. Custom built. Because otherwise, it doesn't fit. And they charge how much? Like 200 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> um, but we have a ton of epoxy and fiberglass left over from last year's rooftop tent build. So we thought we would custom build one of these guys for fun. Uh huh. And we'll see what we'll get ourselves into. No. No, that's. Look. Sharp hands. What's the next step? Fiberglass stuff. Your so, favorite. We'll layer it on, epoxy it, and then cut out the circles, and then epoxy it again. Mm, something like that, yeah. This looks really nice. Yeah, it looks. It came out pretty good. All right, so we let the epoxy and fiberglass dry overnight, and now we're just trimming the excess off of the first layer of webbing. These are fiberglass mats, and we are gonna putting on fiberglass webbing on top. Webbing. Webbing. <laughs> So I just finished prepping the back of our butcher block tops. I sanded them down with two different grits of sandpaper according to the instructions on the butcher block oil. Then I wiped it down with this tack cloth which is pretty much cheesecloth covered in wax. Gets your hands pretty waxy but you can remove it by using a little bit of oil in your hands and then some soap. So we purchased this Watco butcher block oil and finish. looks cool. This is the fiberglass mat. It's pretty stringy. You can see there's fibers sticking out of it. Um, and this is the first layer. And this is the fiberglass mat. Hey 
Hey, kitty. Buddy. I'm super allergic to you. Oh, he wants a belly rub now. Alright, you're gonna get allergies all over me. I was just about to say that everything's looking great. We only have one casualty so far. Poor little guy sunk right in. But I'm about to take some 400 grit sandpaper, finish them off, apply a second coat. It's been approximately six hours. So we're in a bit of a rush today. Um, can't wait to get these done. This looks awesome. It looks like a legitimate sharp ham. No, it worked out pretty well. So, can you talk about why you went with two holes? So, hopefully, if the vehicle stays this way tilted, it runs into this one. Or if it's this way tilted, it runs into this one. Only if the vehicle is this way tilted, we're out of luck. Well, then you always just sweep it in one direction. Yes, and you get the water. have to pull okay. it up. So, that's the thought behind it, at least. This is the center of the shower drain. And when I was measuring, I measured the center being here. But the shower pan has a wall. And the wall moved the drain over here. And now we're too close to here. Oh, what's the next step? Mm. Home Depot! Home Depot, <laughs> yeah. Again! <laughs> I guess. Is it gonna be crowded? I mean, we could also check Rona, which was empty last time I went, and they have plumbing stuff. Well, yes. So our plan is, this goes into the shower drain, then this goes in here, and then we have a three-quarter fitting, which looks like this, and yeah, I can do whatever I need to do underneath the truck with it. Babe. What? Babe. What? Biscuits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna get some? All right guys, so Morris has been putting in a ton of work on the shower pan and we're finally ready. Check it out. For the leak test. Turn the microphone on. You always question me about the microphone and yes, it's on. <laughs> you see me laughing? I'm not laughing. Oh, I'm laughing because we have like, I don't know, a few hours of footage without any sound. <laughs> we didn't end up using that footage, so it's fine. All right. Well, I'll just pour some and we'll see where it flows and what happens to it. I don't like being splashed. I have bad yes. experiences. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I made everything right, I should not see any water. So there's definitely water over that drain. There is no water. Like I plucked them up temporarily. If there's a major leak pretty quickly, yes. Yeah. How slippery is it? Ooh, it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> Do I see any water? I don't. Mm -hmm. It drains. Who would have thought that? <laughs> well, let's do the other one with more water. Oh, cut it. <laughs> oh, careful. Afterwards. Don't, like, fall and break yourself. <laughs> More importantly, don't break a shower pan. What? <laughs> no less important than a shower pan. <laughs> so we added some spacers because the hole in here was not deep enough for these ones and it was rocking a little bit. Let's see if it fits now. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, there's nothing moving at all in. Good. Even if I step here in the corner, it's good. 
Nice. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> Today we're gonna tackle doing the shower. We've been MIA for the past three weeks just because the heat's been so bad in Toronto and we decided to just, you know, chill out for a bit and climb and spend some time with friends. Um, I don't know how you feel. <laughs> Slacking a bit. <laughs> well, like it's also hard to get back into the rhythm, I think. Hopefully today we'll get back into it. Okay, let's, let's go. Get started, yeah. Cue music. <laughs> Done. Right? Nice, yes. <laughs> if only. Okay, let's go. Yep. Oh, it's so hot. It's pretty hot. Let's measure. So as you can see, we've placed plywood sheets surrounding the wall of the shower. And these were literally like the cheapest plywood that we could find at the store because we are perpetually over budget. But our idea is just to put up plain plywood walls and then take vinyl sheet and kind of wrap that around the side of the shower. We found this as an option on the internet doing RV showers, so we figured it would be a viable option for us. The other options that we considered were ACM, aluminum compo component material, something like that. It, Compound, yeah. yeah, you know, like the, the new condos that you see nowadays with like the black sheets of what looks like metal, it's kind of like that. Those, I think, end up being like double, triple the cost or something. And the other thing that we considered was just slapping up some plywood, slapping some paint on it and calling it a day, but I wouldn't let more do that because that just sounds like a really bad idea. The other option that we were thinking of was... Foam board. Foam board, but we couldn't find a supplier for it in Toronto. Next steps are to take some construction adhesive, glue zigzag pattern down the middle, put the vinyl sheet on top, leave the edges unglued, and then put up these walls, screw them in with the vinyl to the frame. Um, that way we can apply the vinyl sheets while the boards are lying flat, as opposed to us both being stuck in this hot box trying to, you know, slap it up like wallpaper. Slap it up! Words of the day, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. We're going fancy here. Got Show a nice, nice marble kind of pattern. Honestly, it was like the most neutral one we could yes. find. <laughs> we didn't really choose anything no. fancy. I like it. I think it looks good. Some Le Page Premium Stronger Plus Ford. It's Le Page. Le Page, uh, right. <laughs> uh, construction glue. Okay, first off, wear gloves when using construction glue. Second of all, this is a cake scraper. You can get a set of three of these in a variety of serrated edges and a straight edge so that it acts like a trowel. 
The best part, it costs half as much as a regular trowel. This will save you a ton of money if you don't already have a trowel. Cake scraper, spreader. So I hope it's apparent now why we decided to glue the vinyl sheets on first while the plywood sheets were lying down flat outside. And that's because we knew there was no way that we could roll this up and glue it on and just like hold on to it for half an hour while the glue cured. So we did the midsection outside and that enables, and that enables Moritz to, <laughs> and that lets Moritz screw the panel itself to the frame and then we just go back in on the side and finish up the glue job. So, whose great idea was that? Yours is. So proud. So proud. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Last piece? Last, well, we're gonna do this first. Last one, yes. Uh -huh. All right. Last one. So we did try to line up the pattern, but I think we mixed it up. Yeah, somehow I think so too. All right, so as you can see, we've got all three shower panels up, covered in vinyl, and because we are not very precise with our work, we had to give in and look for aluminum brackets to hide gaps um, that, you know, that just naturally happens. Um, I guess we're lucky we have the centimeter monster after us and not the inch monster. And we're going to attach it in the corners. So that's our next task. wraps up our episode of how we built our shower stall but we're gonna go have some well-deserved dinner we're gonna have pho. <laughs> pho. Pho. <laughs> so we're gonna go and have some pho but we really hope you enjoyed the episode and don't forget to like and subscribe give us a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you next time on the road to kitchen Bye.